Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good morning, this is uh, Professor Y.K. Gupta. I will be talking today on an ocular condition called as glaucoma. So, this is the talk on what drugs can be used for management of glaucoma. What is glaucoma? Is this primarily the progressive optic neuropathy which is associated frequently with increased intraocular pressure. However, the intraocular pressure may be normal which is called as normal pressure glaucoma. It can be sometimes even less pressure which is called as a low pressure glaucoma. Intraocular pressure is the pressure between the rate of aqueous secretion and the aqueous outflow. If the secretion is more, outflow is obstructed, this increases pressure and that leads to most common form of glaucoma. Normal intraocular pressure is between 11 and 21 millimeter of mercury and this is what you can do sometimes if you feel the pressure by putting two fingers on the eyelid and you can feel the pressure that is a clinical impression person gets of increased intraocular pressure. There are three cardinal signs of glaucoma. One is the increased intraocular pressure. The second is headache because of the optic nerve is pressed behind. Third is vomiting or nausea and many times the colored vision. This causes continuous pressure on the background material that is optic nerve and there is a progressive damage. Therefore, treatment of uh, glaucoma is important. This is uh, a diagram which uh, represent a simple way of aqueous humor dynamics. And one side you can see that aqueous humor production and on the other side you can see the aqueous humor outflow. Aqueous humor production is from the ciliary process and you see the ciliary body here. This is the ciliary body which makes the aqueous humor and this aqueous humor goes from this side posterior chamber and then it comes to anterior chamber and this is the iris which sort of makes a gate and then from the canal of Schlem which is a canal which is an opening this is called as a canal of Schlem and this is the trabecular network and this trabecular network when dil dilates this is the opening of the canal of Schlem when it relaxes this closes and from here it comes to cornea and sclera and that is how 90 percent of the aqueous humor is drained out by the trabecular network through the canal of Schlem and if the canal of Schlem is blocked it will increase the intraocular pressure. This is 
90 percent and 10 percent is uveo scleral pathway. Now, goal of pharmacotherapy of intraocular pressure increase or glaucoma is to reduce intraocular pressure. Naturally, the intraocular pressure reduction can be two strategy decrease aqueous humor production or increased outflow. Decreasing aqueous humor production is by beta blocker because beta receptor are present in ciliary body and responsible for aqueous humor production. So, if you selectively or preferentially block beta receptors in the area where it is producing secretion, this will be useful. Alpha 2 receptor adrenergic agonist have a inhibitory effect on secretion and third is the enzyme which is involved is carbonic anhydrase and carbonic anhydrase inhibitor are useful in this. So, three classes of drugs for reduction in aqueous humor production beta blocker, alpha 2 adrenergic agonist and third is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. On the other hand, the drugs which can increase the outflow are drugs which are called as a meiotic means it will cause the people constrict when people will constrict their canal of Schlem will open and that is why cholinergic drugs which are meiotics are useful and you will recall the midriatic agent like atropine or atropine like drugs like antihistaminic like anti choline like anti depressants they block the canal of Schlem and therefore they precipitate glaucoma alpha adrenergic agonist alpha adrenergic agonists are have a dual action they reduce the production as well as the increase outflow nowadays more commonly used more effective drug in increasing outflow is prostaglandin analogs however the prostaglandin analogs available are expensive therefore still not so commonly used in india but has an advantage of longer duration of action the beta blocking agent which are used in glaucoma are those which can be given by topical application direct installation into the eye because beta 2 receptor is predominant in ciliary epithelium which secretes aqueous production and the ciliary epithelium is responsible for 75 to 90 percent of aqueous production and so if you block the beta receptors primarily through beta 2 adrenoceptrin blocking agent this will reduce the aqueous humor production. There are certain agents which are used one is a non selective agent and that is cartelol and cartelol 1 percent levobunolol and more commonly used is timolol. Timolol is the drug which is most commonly used but has limitation of repeated administration 0.25 percent to 0.5 percent beta 1 selective bitoxolol is also used mechanism of action decrease aqueous humor production lower intraocular pressure the major adverse reaction is ocular irritation and this also causes dry eye 
contraindication all bronchial asthma patient patient of COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease pericardia heart block because even the small quantity of beta blocker which goes into the systemic circulation can precipitate bronchial asthma and can reduce the, the heart rate. The another agent is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitor they are given by intravenous route in emergency cases. Otherwise, in normal situation topical car carbonic anhydrase inhibitor is dorzolamide or brinzolamide 2 percent and 1 percent. Acetazolamide which is a conventional carbonic anhydrase inhibitor has an advantage of can be given by oral route and can also be given in emergency situation by intravenous route. Methozolamide is given by oral route. How these carbonic anhydrase inhibitors act? This carbonic anhydrase isoform 2 is present in the ciliary body. So, in ciliary body it is a beta 2 receptor, it is carbonic anhydrase 2 isoform and in ciliary epithelium and this decreases bicarbonate ion and also fluid transport. You will recall that carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are also used to reduce intracranial pressure also by the same mechanism. <coughs> The adverse drug reaction of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors is paresthesia, particularly tingling sensation in hands, feet, it can often cause stomach upset, hypokalemia and allergic rash. And when you apply locally that is topical application, redness and irritation is often seen. Of the adrenergic drugs, alpha 2 adrenergic drugs are also used in glaucoma and the mechanism they reduce aqueous humor production through alpha 2 receptor and enhance both trabecular outflow via alpha 2 receptor. So, so alpha 2 adrenergic agonist had dual mechanism of reducing secretion and increasing outflow and enhance uveoscleral outflow via PG production. Adverse drug reaction red eye and ocular irritation, CNS depression and apnea in infants and this is contraindicated in closed angle glaucoma because then this the this can further precipitate it. These days prostaglandin analogs are increasingly used and prostaglandin PGF2 acts on FP receptors and increases matrix metalloproteinase enzyme in trabecular meshwork and this causes increase in outflow. The drugs which are used under this category of prostaglandin analogs is latenoprost, trevoprost, bimetoprost and tefluprost of which latinoprost is nowadays more commonly used. The prostaglandin analogs have become first line of treatment and in many countries. Adverse drug reaction include this causes brown discoloration of iris and this is cosmetically sometimes problem. 
lengthening and darkening of eye lashes it is very evident sometimes and ocular irritation and redness. This is a diagrammatic representation of people. Here there are a dilatory people and constrictor people. Dilator people is a muscle which is supplied by parasympathetic and constrictor people supplied by sympathetic system. And when the meiosis, the parasympathomimetic drugs they cause meiosis, whereas the sympatholytic they cause meiosis. On the other hand, when you give sympathomimetics and when you give anticholinergics, this cause midriasis. So, the drugs which will cause midriasis, anticholinergics will precipitate glaucoma and parasympathomimetic will cause meiosis and will be useful in the midriatic agents precipitate closer angle glaucoma because you can see then when there is a midriasis the ciliary muscle this, con this contracts because of this gets relaxed and when this gets relaxed this crumbles this closes this and there is increased pressure here and this increase in pressure will precipitate glaucoma and therefore, midriatics are contraindicated in patient of glaucoma. On the other hand, when you give meiotic agents, this causes meiosis and when you say this meiosis means this is causing the ciliary muscles and then the angle gets open and this causes easy flow of the aqueous humor. So, meiotics are useful in glaucoma whereas, a midriatic agents they can precipitate glaucoma and midriatic agents are all anticholinergic drugs. The anticholinergic property which are there which is there in the different category of drugs are antidepressant particularly particularly antihistamines, antidepressants and antispasmodic. Cholinergic agonists which are used are pilocarpine and carbacol of which pilocarpine is more used causes meiosis and this acts through M3 receptor and iris which constrict muscles. Increase in the angle and increases aqueous outflow. The cholinergic agonists have an adverse reaction of causing headache, especially in young patient. Myopia and because of myopia is a dim vision and this is primarily because of ciliary spas. It has also been seen that the incidence and formation of cataract is more. Rho kinase inhibitors have been found to increase the outflow of aqueous humor through the trabecular meshwork and the drug in this category is netarsodil. An adverse drug reaction again is red eye and ocular irritation. So, if I summarize the drugs in intraocular pressure, there are two type of drugs. One is the for reduction of the aqueous humor production, uh, other is increase outflow. Reduction in aqueous humor production is by beta receptor blocking agent. Timolol is the most commonly used, carbonic anhydrase inhibitor and alpha agonist. The drugs and which increase the outflow are the prostaglandin analogs, the drugs which have sympath parasympathomimetic cholinergic drugs pilocarpine and so these are the drugs which are given in combination many times 
and the drug treatment is a longer duration and finally sometimes surgery is required. Thank you very much.